Alright guys, Ivan here, and this is Luke Sando guest posing at 13 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and this is Barbarian Classic, and Luke is a proper barbarian. <laughs> I mean, he's looking muscular, he's looking dry, he's looking hard, and I really like what I see. I mean, it's 13 weeks out, and he looks like he's like 5 weeks out, at least. He looks very hard, and he just seems improved. And uh, my prediction for this Mr. Olympia would be that he will make a surprise. Just like he did at the Arnold Classic, he, nobody expected him to take third place. And it's very likely that something like that happens at the Mr. Olympia, because he is complete, he's so thick, there is so much muscle on his frame. The only question mark is, can he come dry? He only pulled it once at this Arnold Classic. All the other shows afterwards, like Australia and Indie Pro, he wasn't at his best. He only did it once. If he actually manages to repeat the Arnold shape, he will do great. He will place very highly. I believe he can crack top 10 easily. I think he will be in the top 10 if he brings that kind of shape. But that's a big question mark and we cannot really rely on that because it happened only once. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, Cedric took 8th place and Luke beat him at this Arnold Classic and he also beat Rolly Winkler who was 3rd. And also there is less competition this year, Phil Heath is out, maybe even Big Remy, so we can expect a lot from Luke. If he comes like this, like he was at the Arnold Classic, if he comes hard, like he was at Arnold, anything is possible. But we also have this picture of Brandon Curry, who just posted a physique update in his, well, quote-unquote off-season. It's 13 weeks out, maybe he didn't start dieting yet because he's very lean, he's very, very lean, I don't see any fat here. It's basically all water, and uh, I'm sure that uh, he will be the top threat to the title. If anybody can challenge Sean Roden right now, I'd say that's him. I'd say that's him, and there's also other guys like Rolly Winkler and William Bonek, but I don't think they have the structure for this thing, and Brandon does. The only thing that can hurt him is his weak legs, but if he can actually improve them, make them a little bit fuller, which I think he did. Every year they look bigger, they look fuller, so maybe... At this Mr. Olympia, he actually makes them the way that they should be. And he wins the thing. God knows he has better upper body than Sean. The only thing that Sean has on him is lower body. Brandon also has great conditioning. So judging by this photo right here, Brandon is on. Brandon is perfect. That, that's the way he should look like at 13 weeks out. And he's looking better than Sean right now. But we'll see what happens at the showtime. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below and comment as well. Tell me what you think about this. Do you think Brandon will win the Mr. Olympia, play second or whatever? Do you think Luke will crack the top 10 or even maybe top 6? Who knows? Anything is possible. Just tell me what you think and subscribe to my channel for more videos. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.